What's cracking YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about more woke SJW foolishness, craziness, and tomfoolery. It's getting out of hand. We all know that. But we've got some good stories as well. We've got some frat boys here who get a bad rap usually in the media. But in this instance here, they stood up and they were counted protecting the American flag from a bunch of unwashed, degenerate, putrid individuals who were trying to bring down Western society. Shout out to these guys here. We're going to be checking out the footage. And also, they destroy a Wokey in the process. And I love seeing that. We're going to be checking that out. And lots of other stuff. So we're going to be checking out fake asses, lobotomies. But as I always say, first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications. Because I'm struggling here. But let's start here with Toby Maguire. There's no way this guy's soy. Right, he beats up paparazzi on a daily. All they have to do is look at him sideways, and he's swinging. That's the way he is. Shout out to Toby Maguire, the best Spider-Man. We all know it. Now let's get to the, the frat boys. The frat boys who stood up from Chapel Hill. We need more people out there doing stuff like this, right? Getting in amongst it, not letting these low IQ, ugly individuals, we'll talk more about that later, ugly individuals. Look at these like, look at these complete idiots here, right? Giving the finger to the flag. Someone created a GoFundMe for these guys to, to throw them a rager for standing up like this. And as you can see there, at the current date, at the current time, it's got $234,000. And that is great news. If you want to donate, just search for that title there, and I'm sure you can donate as well. We have some up-close footage of that exact incident, and uh, they call out this Wokey to a face. Check this out. Fuck you! We've fuck gone. you! Into fucking wars! Hey, bro, lose some weight! Lose some weight! <laughs> hey, don't even talk to that bitch! Bad ass! Fuck you! We've fuck you! Into fucking wars! Hey, bro, lose some weight! Lose some weight! That's exactly right, right? No one gives a fuck about this desert war that these people are going on about. No one cares. No, I don't, I don't care about either side. I've said that before. I couldn't give two shits about it. As I mentioned earlier, them being ugly is par for the course these days, these woke SJW protesters, and Megan Kelly gives her take on it. And by the way, why are they so unattractive? I really legitimately want to know, why are all the protesters so homely? I don't think they're unconnected. I'm not going to lie. I think attractive, smart people are not drawn to this nonsense. They're living their lives being successful. It's the unattractive and or dumb people who feel the need to do this to feel like they matter. That is certainly the truth. It's hard to deny that when you see the footage and the images coming out of those protests. These are like the loser kids, the freaks, the people that got beat up back in the day, which actually probably fixed them. But these days, when kids don't get beat up like that, they actually carry their behavior into adulthood and they turn out like, uh, like what we're seeing, right? Bunch of, you know, spoiled, entitled brats. She's right on the money. And this sort of backs up what she's talking about here. From the Telegraph in the UK, square-jawed citizens are more likely to vote for conservative candidates, while those with a slender, impish face... <laughs> impish face lean to the left according to new study the science the science is back up what we're saying here the science backs up what we're saying here the ugly you know slender man dweebs weak ass soy infested pussies vote for the left whereas the you know masculine based red peeled jawline for days washboard abs you know got the <laughs> 
guns as big as boulders. <laughs> Hunter eyes. The V taper. They're all going one way. They're all going to the right. They're all going conservative. That's the way it is. And here we have an example of the types of people involved in these protests. These are some of the ones from the University of Florida. I think the majority of these college students honestly know exactly what they're protesting for. The majority of these college students are here on a government loan. They are studying something unbelievably stupid. They are basically being built for money. They have no idea. It's the next cool thing to do. The average person, I think, at these protests is the kid that isn't cool or good looking enough to be invited to a house party. So because they're not invited to a house party, they make their own, which is out here, which is why what happens when they summon these people with a flyer, 10,000 of them show up. These are 10,000 people with nowhere else to be. It's like when you see the mug shots of these people that get arrested supporting this stuff. All of them look a bit weird. There's something off about them. But let's get to lobotomies now. Not Woker SJW, but this is actually very interesting. This is my favorite lobotomy before and after picture ever. I would get one if I saw this on the news. And you can see there, beforehand, soy infested dweeb, look at him. After the lobotomy, he's gone full chat. He's got that full chat action going on, right? The hair's gone. He's like, give me that goddamn cigar. I'm back, baby. <laughs> test, test through the roof. But hopefully he is staying away, or he was, from women like this. Look at that ass. I think that's actually real, right? I think that might be real. <laughs> Like a real picture, like not photoshopped. I mean, the ass definitely is not real. There's no doubt about that. Look. <laughs> That's Jesus. What guy out there is finding this attractive? It's like probably what Big Bird's ass looks like. <laughs> Someone, some guy out there, some guy out there did the math on this though. Check this out. Right? He's working out the angles here. Look at this, right? <laughs> That's so bad. I guess you got some type of disease. This thing is just, this thing is out of control. What's going on? And speaking of women with low IQs. I went to Target to get some alcohol because it's Friday, but I don't have the money to pay for the alcohol. So guess what I did? I was just going to take it. I mean, it's free, right? They put the prices on there, but I think that's just for like, if you want to pay, it's not um, mandatory. So you heard it here first. The prices are just there if you want to pay for it. But you don't have to. That is the new system, apparently, that I'm not aware of. Good to know. But one thing I do want to comment on is um, this trend I've seen of um, people from a certain demographic, let's say, who have hair on their forehead. Um, um, who, who is thinking this is a good look for people to have extra hair growing on, like out of their forehead? Or, or give the impression that there's hair attached to the forehead. When has that ever been a good look? It's it's never been a good look. I don't know. I don't know why people are so afraid to just have their natural hair. What's wrong with that? And I think we'll finish up here with this one. Okay, to all the smart people out there, you think you're so goddamn smart, don't you? I think you're a bloody genius, don't you? We'll explain that then. I right, explain how the hell that doesn't work. That's what's going on. Hope you're having a good day as always. And as always, so get the peons the hell out of us, check it out.